What is going on guys? Dar Sizzle here from Dar Sizzle Offshore and today I have another how to fillet video for you and I'm going to show you how to fillet a yellowfin tuna. Um, and I know you guys like my fillet videos so once again I'm producing for you guys and hopefully you'll enjoy this but I know a lot of you are curious about how to fillet a yellowfin tuna because they get so big and they have such huge loins of meat on them as well. Um, so this is a solid 30 pound yellowfin we caught today out of Grand Isle, Louisiana and we smoked the fish today. We got over 11 yellow fins and the biggest one that I caught was 80 pounds. So I'm going to start with a small one because honestly I've never filleted a yellow fin before. I filleted black fin which is very similar um, but I'm going to go ahead and try to do this so I may not be the best at it. I just want to give you a heads up <laughs> beforehand and uh, show you how to do it because I just learned from one of the best over here. So let me show you um, some of the knives I've got here. I am sponsored by Bubba Blade Pliers and I've been using their um, Bubba Blade Pliers. Bubble Blade Knives, and I've been using their knives for years now, um, and they recently contacted me and were interested in sponsoring me, so they sent me a bunch of brand new blades here, and I'm going to be testing them out today as well. I've already used the 6 inch Turkinator knife right here, which is sweet with a mossy oak handle. I'll link it down in the description below for you guys, but I think it's a very affordable knife, um, and you know, you do if you want quality in your product, I think you have to spend a little more, and it's going to last you years. And like I said, I've been using Bubble Blade pli knives for years, and um, I still have the same knives I bought five years ago. So this is a little six inch Turkinator I'm gonna be using. I'm also going to be using the um, nine inch Tapered Flex. And I like, I like knives that are able to flex. Um, that way I can get under their skin and I cut them right. I just, I prefer that. I know other people don't, uh, but it's whatever you like. And then also the nine inch Flex. So this is a big old knife that hopefully I'll be able to use to get the skin off of this fish. So I just learned a new technique, like I said, and I never filleted these fish before. And this is, a, like I said, solid 30 pound fish. So he has a lot of meat on him. And I'm not gonna stick him up and like lay a whole fillet over like I normally would with fish. So I'm kind of gonna just separate each loin and uh, learn from the guys that fish here all the time. So let's get started. Cut in right here. Like so. And then right here behind his fin here, I'm just gonna kinda make a cut all the way down to his tail. Like that. And you really wanna make sure that you, you know, you, you, you have a sharp knife to use with these fish because they do, are very scaly and it's tough to get through their, their actual skin. So you wanna have a sharp knife like Bubble Blade. this bony part right here. There we go. These fish, pound for pound, fight so hard. Epic fish to fight. I finally got to fight my first one, so that was epic today. All right, so kind of, see what I did here? I kind of made a cut right behind the gill plate, all the way up to the top of its dorsal fin here, all the way down. I made a cut right here as well, so that way we can take this top loin off and then take the second half off. That way it's much easier to handle, I believe, and that's just the way to do it around here in Louisiana. All right, we're getting there now. All right, so first loin is off. And we're gonna obviously take the skin off of this here and uh, loin it and chop it up in big pieces. But let's get this bottom half off as well, real quick. All right, we're just gonna kind of follow its rib cage down and take the whole piece of meat off. side of the fish but first I want to get these skin real quick they do need to get right back on ice and it's very important especially with any fish and pertaining to yellowfin you do not want to run fresh water on your fish that is really bad for the meat and it's actually just going to make the meat decay at a faster rate and actually give it a taste that you're not going to like and it has to do with something called osmosis and I'm not going to get into it I'm not a scientist but um, you just that's a big no-no when it comes to fish. And you also do it with freshwater fish as well. 
you want to make sure you don't rinse it off with fresh water and it's always going to stay in salt water and um, and then when you're ready to eat it then that's when you'll go ahead and rinse it off with fresh water so let's get this bloodline out you don't want to have a rinse off with fresh water there you go pat it dry with paper towels no i guess not even when you're ready to eat it don't even do it the way i do it like, take it right off the fish like this. Yep. Line it up and stake it. Cut the bloodline out. And then just you use that load of paper towels and just dry it, get every little scale off of it, and then it's ready to go. If you're gonna freeze it, wrap it in saran wrap real tight or vacuum seal it. Make sure the fish is dry first. Because if it's not dry, it's gonna taste really hardly when it falls out. All right, I did not know that about these yellowfin tuna. So we're gonna definitely take those tips and do that when we uh, vacuum seal our fish. But I can't wait, never had yellowfin before. And so this is my nice loin here. Just took the skin off. I'll show you once again how I did that with the skin. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and make some big cuts here. And that's how it'll be stored in the freezer. Kinda just like that. All right, so now I'm gonna skin the other half of this loin here. And uh, once again, which is in my other videos as well, you can check out, I have a playlist on how to fillet fish. But I'm gonna just get a good underneath the skin here, right by the meat, and kinda at a 40 to 5 degree angle, hold the meat close, to hold the skin actually like close to you so you have some leverage to uh, kind of like just saw back and forth and work it along the skin, just like this. Then we gotta get the bloodline out because you definitely don't want to eat that. I mean, you can if you want, but I prefer not to, so I'm cutting it out. And then we're just gonna slab it up. It's kind of mutilated, but, <laughs> but I had a, a, a flat blade. Yeah. That's how when you get sashimi. That's what, that's it, what is. it looks like. Ah. That and like when they make spicy tuna, they take a spoon and they scrape out all of this meat right here. Okay. See how it's all just flaking off? Yep. And then they mix it all together with the spicy mayo. Okay, cool. Okay. Nice. So like I could just fillet it and leave it like that? You can eat, eat that piece Oh, you can eat that place like that? Nice. That's cool. Corey just taught me something new about yellowfin and the sashimi and also spicy tuna and what they make it with. So that was really cool. Um, obviously, <laughs> he's got to give me a lot of tips because I don't know what I'm doing with these yellowfin. I can tell you. But hey, we're learning together and uh, we're getting some great tips from locals around here. And uh, it's just a blast trying to play a massive yellowfin tuna that we caught today. So we have to do the other side of this fish now. It's kind of separated already, actually. All right, so once again, I just want to let you guys know is that, that this is my first time. So it may not be 100% perfect like this guy, Corey, over here, because he's actually like showing you how it really should happen. But uh, I think I'm making it work over here and just going to kind of piece up these loins once again. But you can see I just made the cut behind the head here and then just run a cut all the way down right next to his uh, fin right here, all the way down his tail. That, make a cut. All right, so I've got this kind of already separated, this piece of the loin on the top here. I'm just gonna separate it from the body and the bones. I am left-handed, so if this looks weird to you guys, I'm sorry, but I'm left-handed. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and now just skin this piece of the loin once again. Now take the bloodline out. Don't want to freeze that or eat that. I highly don't recommend it. Big chunk of bloodline out of there. 
Feed it to the fishes. All right, so this is the other half of the loin here. And the same thing, instead of just taking the whole piece and stripping it off, we're doing it in two pieces, which makes it way easier. There we go. All right, that's loin number two. I mean, loin number four in total. We're almost done here. Take the last of the bloodline out, cut it up, and then we're gonna look in this fish's stomach because I am curious to see what's in it. And I usually like to do that with fish I catch because I always wanna know what they're eating. And that way I know for future reference because sometimes you can find some really cool stuff in there. I mean, I'm never gonna catch a yellow fin tuna back home, but I'm curious to see what this fish had in its belly. I gotta eat my catch. They're filleting my big hundred, uh, 80 pound tuna we caught today. Epic to catch a fish that's like more than half my size. And uh, he put up one heck of a fight. I've never fought a fish like this back home. So we're gonna eat a little piece of this fish together. Corey is filleting the fish because he's an expert and he's gone through like five tuna and I've gone through one. <laughs> All, right. All right, down the hatch. <laughs> A plus plus plus. That was really, really good. I can't wait to have some later. I'm gonna be eating yellowfin tuna for days. Okay, I'm gonna open the stomach real quick. Just wanna see. I feel like there's some stuff in here, but there may not be. What the hell is that? That looks like squid. What is this stuff, Corey, in his gut? Is that like squid? Oh, it was like fish broken down, little fish. That's a piece of fish right here. You see the, like their bones and stuff. So this is a this chum. Chum. Okay. So this fish was in our chum line, I guess, eating someone's chum and a bunch of little chunks of meat here. And then also you can see like little bones, but their stomachs really decay the meat right away. So this is this kind of slurry slush and you can see like bones right here and stuff. Nothing, you can really can't really make out too much, but Corey thinks it's sardines. So pretty cool, and then uh, I wonder, I guess you guys are wondering what we're going to do with this tuna, the rest of it, because we're not going to eat it. Um, I'm sure other people will, but we're just not going to do that. I'm not going to make a soup with this. I just prefer not to. Um, so what we're going to do with this fish, it doesn't go to waste. It goes right back into the system here, into the Louisiana salt water here, and all the fish are going to eat it. All the crabs, all the little fish, it's going to get eaten over the course of time. There's even a porpoise that just busted over here, so I'm sure the porpoises are going to dine on this fish. And in order to do that, for him not to float, you actually just poke their eyeballs, and they're not going to float on you. So do that on both sides, and then we're going to flip them over the side, and uh, he is going to get eaten. There we go. All right, there's my first yellowfin that I filleted, 30 pounder. I think I didn't do too bad, but that was my first. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it, even though I was learning as we went along together, but hey, you know, that's okay. That's why it's YouTube. And um, thank you guys so much for following along. It's been an epic trip here in Louisiana. If you're interested in more of those videos, they're going to be linked down in the description below, as well as the Bubba Blade pliers, Bubba Blade knives. I don't know why I keep saying that. Bubba Blade knives. If you're interested in those, they also have pliers as well. But I'll link all of their products down in the description below. Please check that out if you're interested. I highly recommend their knives. They're great. Um, and then also I met these little young YouTubers here, Macy and Cyrus. And they've got a YouTube channel, so they're going to tell you about their channel. Um, it's Phil Synthal Fish Company, and we're from South Arkansas. And what videos do you post? We post fishing and all kinds of videos. Fishing, hunting, hunting, and all kinds of stuff like that. Awesome. So guys, check them out. It's great to see young YouTubers out here. And they, they're awesome. They've been watching me play this yellowfin the whole time. So awesome. Make sure you check them out and follow them as well. We'll link them down in the description as well. But we're going to go ahead and do the tagline. So thank you guys so much. Ready? Follow your dreams and keep on catching.
Oh, what a beast! Put another one in it.